Hey Titans, in this video I'll show you our newest amazing feature to the Titan Sign platform, face recognition mode. Alright, so uh, let's head over to my documents here and I'll select this document. And what we have here is a dynamic document um, coming from Salesforce. We have two signatures on this document. One of them goes, if I'll take a look at the signers, so we have one for, for an account and another one for a contact. So we're just grabbing um, from Salesforce. We're going to trigger the sign. It will go to the account of, of the, uh, the whatever we triggered and to the first contact that it has on the related contacts. Um, what we want to do with this is add another layer of security, face recognition. All right, so on the signature itself, so everything here is set up. Everything is assigned. Um, on the signature itself, if I select the element, you can see a new checkbox saying face recognition mode. So I'm going to go ahead and tick this for both signature, also for the account and the contact signatures. And the next thing I got to do is head over to my mapping. So everything here is already set up for the usual way of signing. And we can see we have a new uh, variable here, account the face photo. Now the account is dynamic. It can work with any object, whatever it is you want. And we have the email, last name, first name, just as usual. So what, what we can map here from Salesforce, it's either a URL uh, for a photo or a rich text that contains a photo, rich text field in your object that contains a photo to match against, um, or a attachment. Um, the attachment, you're going to have to query it aside from this one, but let's uh, do in this demo, I'll do a URL and uh, rich text. All right, so let's do face recognition photo URL. Now, this is just a uh, text field or a URL field that contains the uh, photo URL. And I'll hit plan finish. Let's head over to the contact. And in the contact, I'll map the face photo to the uh, rich text custom field I have on the contact. Hit apply and finish. I'll save this. Now let me show you the photos we're working with here. So here is my face recognition photo. I'm going to click this and it contains my image. And if I'll head over to the related contact, we see here, let's refresh this. Okay, we see here Ronnie B. And head over to the details and we see that the rich text contains um, his image. All right, so just notice both of the emails will go to me. I'm just going to show you a verification and a failure. And then if Ronnie will be kind enough to verify this and sign, it will be amazing. All right, so let's head over to the FT generate document. And I'm going to click on my demo here and action sign. All right, once this is done, I will get an email to sign the document. Just imagine I'm the customer here, supposed to sign it. All right, so I got the email in my other window. Let me just uh, grab the link and we'll continue working from here. All right, so this form requires two things. It's uh, to enter some text and to sign. Now, let's watch this. All right, so I'll click Start Recording. It will record me for 10 seconds. And it will match whatever is recorded against our picture in Salesforce. All right, now I will run the verification. It takes up to a minute. So. Um, let's just let it run and um, we'll see what happens. All right, so my identity is verified. Now I can sign. So I will select a signature or I can do a new signature. Everything is just as it was. And I'll hit confirm and finish sign. All right, one site, uh, another amazing thing that happens here that if I'll refresh this window and I'll take a look at the Titan sign document and I'll look at the related and 
you can see you have a step here, a new step called Face Verified. And if I'll click it, then we'll be able to see, let's take a look at the related. We can see that we have a file with the video recording of the verification. So this is amazing. So you can go back if it was verified or, or didn't manage to get a verification, you can head back and see this recording. And you can see in the details, it gives you the confidence, uh, level of confidence uh, within the recognition. Um, this is really, really amazing. So I'll head back to the Titan document, let's take a look at the related. So we're at step zero, face verified, and zero is completed. And now we have step one, we sent the email. So let's take a look at my emails. And I, since I put both of them onto mine, and we have one for Ronnie and I'll try and do this for him so we can get a fail and then we will send it to Ronnie for him to sign. All right, so uh, just got the link for Ronnie, which is uh, the contact in this, uh, in this demonstration. And let's fill up the text here and I'll try and sign again. Start recording, record me for 10 seconds and then it will try and get the verification. This time we're expecting it to fail. All right, so we will let it run. All right, so we can see it, uh, uh, the verification failed. Now let's head back to our um, Titan tracking and see what was updated. And we can see that it was viewed and face verification failed. And if I'll open it again, so again, it's very confident that we're not, uh, that, that it's not a match. And if I'll head over to the related again, I can download the, the video. So if I'll click this and we get the video, I can see myself here opened on the other screen. We can see the recording and we can verify it again. So this is amazing. So now I've sent the link to Ronnie and he will sign it for us and I'll just make sure everything here runs correctly. All right, so uh, Ronnie verified and signed it for us. Let's take a look. I'm going to refresh the tracking. And again, everything here is under the um, account that we sent the signature for. So if I'll click on the face verify now for step number one, which is Ronnie, and I'll head over to the related. Let's take a look at what we got. And let's just make sure this is indeed uh, Ronnie. And there he is. Thank you so much, Ronnie. And uh, guys, this is how it's done.